Hi, this is Mark Linsenmeyer here with Professor Fritjof Bergman, the author of a philosophical and political movement that he calls New Work. New Work is about planning and acting alternatives to the world's job system. Now, by job system, I just mean the social arrangement by which we're all expected as the central activity of our lives to get a job, to fill up our day with whatever work is on offer by businesses, and that's the only way we it's the only way that we're entitled to a living, to money, goods, food, and shelter. Conventional wisdom has it that this system is the only effective, morally acceptable one we've got. Right? What's the alternative? Sitting around having the government pay us to do nothing? No, that's not the only alternative, and we hope this YouTube channel will help you to think harder about this issue and figure out what you can do to optimize your own situation and advocate for possible positive political change. It's imperative for us to think about the job system for two reasons. First, the system is unsustainable. There already aren't enough jobs, especially when you look worldwide, and there's no reason to think that continued economic growth will be sufficient to provide jobs for even the majority of us over the long term as automation of work increases. Second, the current job system is just not good for people. Far too many of us get stuck in jobs that slowly kill us or leave us impoverished. And of course, many people are shut out of the job system altogether with no other means to make a living. New work as a philosophy is about figuring out exactly what people need, what energizes us about meaningful work, what kind of life do we as a society want to aim for. New work as a practical movement is about figuring out and enacting social arrangements that will allow people to support themselves well while doing meaningful, fulfilling things with their time. This involves thinking outside of the traditional job system, right, the chances for most people of building a truly fulfilling life out of one of the full-time jobs on offer out there is very slim. A most natural way to think about cultures or societies is to think of them as bundles, you could also say concatenations, of systems. Societies have systems like the economic system, like the political system, like the religious system, and one could add three or four additional systems. Now, on this channel and in these discussions, I want to move you a step beyond how we normally think and introduce the idea of an additional system, namely the job system, that societies and cultures very importantly also have different job systems. And somewhat paradoxically, this is not usually mentioned, but the job system of a particular society may have more effect, may more deeply structure, more in more detail structure, the people who live in that culture or society than any of the other systems. So the job system is of tremendous significance. Now, there was a job system that existed for thousands of years. This was the agricultural job system. Working in agriculture was radically different from the job system, which is what we have had for the last 200 years. The job system, in essence, is a system where you work for somebody else. And the job system from the very beginning, 200 years ago, uh, was looked at with skepticism by quite a number of people, importantly by, for example, Thomas Jefferson, who felt that the agricultural system was vastly superior, vastly better for people, was much more educative of people than the job system. Uh, the job system from the beginning was greeted with some skepticism and it added to the diseases from which the job system suffers, from the defects of the job system, grew and became ever more significant as we moved through the 200 years that the job system lasted. The most important of the diseases of the malfunctions of the job system is the terrible split, the bifurcation between those people who in the job system earn incredible amounts of money. Watchword is Wall Street. On the other end, an ever larger number of people. And if you look at it worldwide, if you include Russia and India, then what happens is that the number of people that are excluded from the job system, that suffer in, incredible from unemployment and underemployment and poverty is very, very large. And some people even say it may be as many as 80% of the world's population. Now, because of these defects, which also include the fact that we constantly have to race because we 
automate jobs away, and that means that we must create new jobs, and that puts us under pressure to constantly create new jobs. But that also means that we put terrific strain on resources, so the job system has all of these defects. Therefore, conclusion, next big step, we need a new work system. The new work system, in essence, is different from the job system. Most easily, most put in the most compressed terms, the job system is a monopolist system. That is, we have one thing, we have jobs and nothing else. In the new work system, we have three things. We have community production, we have what we have now, namely there will continue to be job works in the new work system, and thirdly, there will be what we most aim for and what we consider something like the crowning jewel of the new work system is the opportunity, the possibility to do work that one seriously and passionately and deeply wants to do. Now, community production, the first part of new work, is very simple, basically. That is, we have developed amazingly new technologies. These technologies very often are micro technologies. That is, they are small rather than huge. And from that, it follows that from here on in, think of the phone as a typical example of a micro technology. Uh, people can manufacture what they need for themselves, what they really seriously need. They can create on site, they can create in villages, they can create in parts of sound towns. They don't need to produce it in a centralized, they can produce it in a decentralized way. That is the quintessence of community production. The, the job system that continues further has the difference that we pay more attention in what is now the new job system to making it possible for people to even in their jobs pay attention to what they really want to do and that the job system as it continues will add to community production and make ever more community production possible. That leads to the third and most significant accomplishment of new work. Now new work is really something that is incredibly superior to the work system we have now. And if you examine this and think about it, think of it as the possibility that has now arisen, partly because of new technologies, to do things that you really seriously want to do, that you with conviction want to do, that you don't want to do with embarrassment. But on the contrary, doing work that you really, really want to do will have three consequences. It will make it possible for you to be more energized by the work you do. It will also make it more possible for you to feel that you are alive. You live your life and you don't just witness and suffer your life. And the third is that your life will have meaning. So those three things can be accomplished through work that you really, really want. And new work will introduce community production and as a second part, more refined job work, but most important and on top of it, and the third one, and the great accomplishment, the great new advantage of new work is the possibility of with a large part of your time doing something that you really and seriously want to do. We aim on this YouTube channel to more fully explain new work and to introduce you to more of the people involved in thinking and acting in this area. You can also consider this as an invitation to you. This is a cooperative effort. Uh, figuring out the details of how to make this work to actually give people the time to pursue a, a something that they really want to do uh, to refine the technologies this is something that is in process there's a lot of people involved it's much larger than just me and Fritjof trying to pitch something to you so uh, however you can read more about Fritjof and new work the articles that he's written about this at newworknewculture.com thanks <laughs>